Welcome, dear friends, to a five-part presentation called My Life as a Sea Turtle. And uh, this is the introduction. I put it in five parts because my long career as an educator and studying brain research, some of that research indicated that the human brain can only really attend seriously up to seven minutes, then it needs a break. So this first introduction part will be about that long. And so uh, why sea turtles? Well, they are special ocean dwellers. They have survived over 200 million years, but we're worried that they could become extinct in the next hundred. They did outlive the dinosaurs, and we want them to last another hundred million at least. I'm a sea turtle preservationist, sometime referred to as sea turtle man. I tell my story to any and all that will listen. My groups include all age groups. I've had as many as 300 people attend. I've presented in five states of the U.S. and in Shanghai, China. The story usually engages the listener more than any other subject I have taught. Currently, I'm semi-retired. I'm a substitute teacher, and I share information about sea turtles to all age groups, K through high school. My goal is to influence young people to take up the cause of sea turtles and our environment in general. My best success story, perhaps, is a young man that was in school here in the Kansas City area and decided to become a sea turtle specialist and he's doing that at the University of Hawaii. Pretty smart on his part. To show my seriousness, my truck license plates advertises sea turtle. Why study sea turtles, I'm often asked. You live in the Midwest. Well, ironically, central and western Kansas for millions of years was covered by an ocean. It was during the late Cretaceous period, 148 million years ago. Consequently, there are many sea turtle fossils all around western and central Kansas, along with many other great fossils. There are over 260 types of turtles, tortoises, terrapins in the world. And Midwesterners are most familiar with these freshwater turtles that live in Kansas and Missouri. The three most popular ones are the box turtle on the left, the striper, which often has a red uh, mark coming down each side of its head. And then of course, the snapping turtle that usually scares people to death because it has a large head, a large mouth. And when people catch them, usually in a pond or lake, and they pull them out, they're covered in moss and they look very scary. And if you get your finger or toe in the way, you'll suffer. Sea turtles actually began life on the land millions of years ago. They eventually became ocean dwellers, and that's where they live now. Let's look at the difference. They have flippers instead of web feet. They no longer can pull their head into their shell, and they live their lives in the ocean, 
and not on land, with one exception, and that's egg laying. And that's what people know the most about. This picture really shows how that open space no longer exists for sea turtles. It is closed. This allows them to be strong, fast swimmers. If that were open, it would severely drag them down and the ability to escape predators would be minimized. They are air breathing reptiles. They need new air about every five to eight minutes with the exception of the leatherback because of its size and lung capacity, it can stay down up to 20 minutes. That happens to be a green sea turtle. We're gonna take a look at all seven types of sea turtles in my five part presentation. We'll first concentrate on those that nest in the US and we'll start with the green right here. It is the uh, third largest. The leatherback is the largest of all. The Kemp's Ridley is one of the smaller. The Hawksbill is over here. They range in size from 150 to 2,000 pounds. They're quite phenomenal. I never had any idea until I started studying this about their sizes. This shows an ocean map range for three of the main types of sea turtles, the leatherback, the loggerhead, and the green. They search for food in five of the seven oceans. Being reptiles, and so they don't have an interior heating system, their body temperature is that of their surroundings, they avoid that cold Arctic Ocean and the Antarctic Ocean in the south. And what are they doing? Looking for food. In nature, it's eat or be eaten. The world nesting sites, there are about 10 of them, but the main ones are the Caribbean, ocean, surrounding area, and Indonesia and Malaysia. Those are the main areas where sea turtles nest. So, part two of my life as a sea turtle is next. Tune in and enjoy it. Bye now and stay safe.